Welcome to the incredibly seamless comedy lottery. How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> Welcome to the technically savvy host of the comedy lottery, and there's no one who will say otherwise. I'm Austin Locke. My name is Demetrius Fields, and today we're joined by the wonderful Darius Diggins, everybody. How you doing, Darius? I'm doing great, man. Yeah, make it's, some noise for, for him. Make him feel yeah. some love. All right, you guys know how this works. This is the comedy lottery. Dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the ring for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy. They're just gonna be judged on a scale of one through 10 by this panel of judges right here. The comedians with the three highest scores at the end of the night are gonna come up here and do one final joke. And then you, yes, you, the audience, is gonna decide who goes home with the comedy lottery jackpot. Austin, what's the comedy lottery jackpot tonight? $162. Whoa, 162. Someone, someone in this room besides the three of us is making $162 tonight. So act like it. <laughs> Absolutely. High stakes. We like to start our show off by having the winner of last week come back, do a new set, new three minutes, see how long we can get the longest win streak. Right now, it's two. Uh, Jay Turner won twice in a row, but that could change tonight. No, it Put, can't. This, well, it could begin to change tonight. It could Sorry, begin, not to cut you off in the middle no, of your thing right there. You're correct. No, no, no. You're right. Yeah, you're we right. Don't, we uh, don't just say shit. Yeah, yeah we, 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 we speak it. with meaning. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Thank you. I, I, give it up for your guest judge, everyone, for getting it. <laughs> Yeah. For understanding where I'm coming from. All right. Ian, without further ado, she won last week. Put your hands together for our uh, our winner, Steph Brown, everybody. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do better than that. It's a goddamn show. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh. What's up? Um, I, I come from a family of four, but I'm bipolar, so it's like five. <laughs> right? It's like six if I'm on my period. Okay, I'm gonna be three after this. You understand? <laughs> My life, your hands, babe. Figure it out. <laughs> Figure it out. No, um, it's true. I am. I am bipolar. Um, I think the best thing about getting diagnosed is realizing it took ten years. Um, I got diagnosed about two years ago, and the best thing about getting diagnosed is realizing that the reason, like, I've been acting so crazy and so out of my mind this whole time. Um, is because I fucking am. <laughs> you understand that? No, I am. Um, do you guys know what code switching is? Yeah. Right? What better than a white woman to explain it, right? Um, it's a thing, if you don't know minorities typically do, where like a black person might speak to their black friend differently than like a white coworker. Um, but what we don't talk about is the white girl code switch, right? It's when you're at brunch with your friends and you're like, if that dumb bitch likes my man's picture one more time, I start, oh no, we're landing in the morning and we don't need any. <laughs> so, now you're bilingual, congrats. Um, what else is what else is up? I um oh I've been getting into angel numbers recently. We know what angel numbers are. You look like you do, yeah. She has a butterfly on her shirt. Um no, it's like it's when you see the same number repeated. So like two 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 seven seven seven. Mine was four four four, and it basically means like you know, the universe has your back. The stars are aligned. Um, and I started freaking out because I realized the other, the other day I hadn't seen an angel number in about a year, and I was like, oh my god, what does this mean for me? Like, does the universe not have my back? Um, and then I told you guys I'm bipolar. Um, I started taking antipsychotics a year ago. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing angel numbers because I'm not out of my fucking mind anymore. <laughs> you guys are like, that's weird. You seem like you are. Um, I've I've uh, started gaining weight again, um, which means it's time to get back with my ex. <laughs> um, because I was so anxious, but I was so fucking skinny, right? I was so worried he was cheating on me. Um, and his words, not mine, were, Steph, I'm not cheating on you. We're not together. Stop <laughs> telling people that. <laughs> Um, and that's how you lose 15 pounds. So, all right, guys, that's my time. I'm Steph Brown. Steph Brown. Yeah. Let her hear it. Hell yeah, dude. That was fun. Great opener. I would like more from the audience. Please be nice to the people. I Something. feel like there was some funny things in there that they didn't give you enough for. I feel like the because I'm crazy part, uh, when you were talking about the therapy thing, I thought it was funny. I feel like it could have got a better pop. I want y'all to get loose and have more fun. Uh, overall, I thought it was a good set. I thought the bipolar opener was really great. Uh, White Girl Coast, which is, is really fantastic. I thought they could have given you a little bit more. My only note, really, is the, uh, is the game weight with the X 
next thing. Uh, it was very. It's a very funny premise, but I feel like I didn't feel you like fulfill on that premise as much as I want to. So I don't know. I want to like maybe just expand it. It could use a little bit more tags. It feels a little bit new, but uh, I love it. Yeah, maybe yeah. I'm so skinny. You didn't like. It didn't click for you. You're That's usually how it happens. So tiny. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually how it happens. <laughs> Hell yeah, Steph. You feel like uh, I feel like you can make a lot of money uh, bullying men on the internet somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I wanted to do voice acting, but I think that, that, makes might, sense. that might work a lot better. That code switch voice, you can make a lot of money in different ways on the internet yeah. with that one, I think. Um, also, 444, four, 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 uh, those are also my angel numbers, but only none of this. when I'm... Absolutely none of this shit. Yeah, yeah no, they are. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm shutting this one down. Uh, no. <laughs> We're not comparing angel numbers, okay? <laughs> uh, I, no, they're, they're my angel numbers, but only when I'm at Wendy's. Uh, all right, I'll kill myself. All right, that's not funny. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It's a bad thing to say. <laughs> my angel, my angel number is two. Why? I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny if it was only one number. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you see that a lot. Yeah, hey, it's two. Sure. Oh, it's my day. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's your angel number? Oh, like probably four. Nice. Yeah, let's see. That's yeah. a smart. We're smart like that. They, they come in threes, you guys. So yours oh, so is four, four, four. No, so mine's three then. No. Okay. You know what? Maybe we could move on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what'd you think of her set? I liked it. Um, I like... What I really like is that uh, your first punch came very fast. Um, like, but I, uh, 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 I think for a three minute, that's what we're doing. Three yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Busting out the notes on a three minute was was kind of for me like. Eh. But overall, I like the set a lot. Like I like your jokes. Um, like I said, you got very to the point. A lot of a lot of the time, people will like open with a setup and it's like don't don't do that like get to it you know and uh, especially on a three so i liked it a lot i'm a fan thank you yeah yeah what do you think in score one through ten i'm gonna say like six five six point five six point five what do you think i'll go seven five going seven point five like first spot's hard first spot's always the hardest one yeah i'm gonna go six i'm gonna go six but you're at the top of the leaderboard yay hey i hope you stay there make some noise for steph brown as she gets steph off the stage you're, you're, let's go to our first bucket you're, pull of the night First comedian coming out of that thing. Give it up for J.J. Arias. Hello, guys. How you doing? Yeah. Feeling good? I hope you guys are feeling good. I mean, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And that's very bold of me to say, because I have beef with everyone here, all right? Because I know every single person in this room has said no to my cousin selling candy on the train. Yeah, you say, uh, have you bought one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's okay. You know, we can't all buy a Skittles from Itia, you know. We can't all, you can't taste my auntie's rainbow. It's fine, you know. She tastes poverty when you don't buy her candy. That's why I call her my poverty Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like that very much, but it's cool. You know, guys, I'm, I'm young in New York City. You know, I, I like to consider myself a hustler, man. I've, I've had, like, a lot of jobs. I'm not selling candies. You know, I've had a lot of jobs. I think the worst job I had was uh, AutoZone. I worked at AutoZone. It was a very bad job because, I first of all, I know nothing about cars. I just needed a job. It was a cashier job. And I was, like, really, it was my first job, so I was really desperate. Like, I really needed the job. Like, I had an interview, and I was like, okay, I'm going to lock in. I'm going to get this job. And, you know, I was preparing. I went on WikiHow. I searched up how to answer interview questions. You guys ever do that? No? I, yeah, I'm a little retarded, so it's fine if you don't do that. I'm, I'm a little retarded. But they just needed, like, a guy. It was a minimum wage job. They just needed a guy who could speak Spanish and work the register. But I prepared so much. Like, I came in there, and I went to the interview, and I was ready. You know, I came in with confidence, you know. But I got the question. I got the job, the first question. They were like, JJ, tell us about yourself. And I was like, oh, um, my parents are immigrants. They're like, get in the zone, auto zone. You got the job. <laughs> Some of you guys aren't laughing. That's fine. You know, immigrants is a touchy subject, you know. Not everyone likes, you know, immigrants. I like, uh, they're cool, you know, guys. I, 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 like, uh, I like Latinas. You guys like Latinas? Yeah. That's great. They don't like me, you know, they don't like me that much. Um, it kind of bothers me a little bit, you know, because they like certain type of Spanish dudes, you know, they don't like uh, Spanish dudes like me, you know, they like cool Spanish dudes, you know, like uh, like Bad Bunny, Peso Pluma, you know, these Spanish dudes. You know, when they see me, they're not, they don't think the same. You know, they're not like, oh my God, Poppy. They're like, oh my God, is that my DoorDash like, driver? That's what they think when they see me, you know. <laughs> it's fucking, it's terrible, you know. 
but I'm I'm just trying my best. I I, I have a lot of friends. Um, I'm Gen Z, so you know they're on drugs, um, uh, and they also are woke, which is annoying when they're both woke and drug addicts. You know, I have a friend. I was trying to get McDonald's with my homie. He's he's on this woke like train right now. Like oh, we were trying to get McDonald's, and he was like, "Oh, we can't go there, bro. I'm boycotting McDonald's." And I was like, "You can wait outside." You know, but I oh, we we went to McDonald's, and he just I was eating my chicken nuggets. He was just staring at me in disgust. He was like, "Oh, how could you eat those?" What are they made out of? And I was like, bro, you're on ketamine right now. <laughs> Why are you judging my chicken nuggets and what they're possibly made out of? I know exactly what he's made out of, guys. Hope, you know, because he's woke. No? All right. We can still be cool after this. Thank you. JJ RAS. <laughs> Give it up for him, dude. He's in the zone, auto zone. Nice. I like that. We're going to send them a, 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 what's the word when you ask for money from a company? A uh, request? An invoice. Oh, We're going to send them right. a damn invoice after this. Okay. Nice. Get in Get in my bank account, auto zone. All That's right. what I'm going to say. Yo. Why do, oh, you go. Oh, go for it. Keep saying why do, why do Why do all the women selling candy on the train have kids? Like on their um, back? I mean, it's Is that their kid? It's just like a hustle, man. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Is that their kid? <laughs> is that you're you're telling me you've never had this thought? But you don't. You've never been like, hey, let me borrow the kid. I'm gonna go sell some candy real quick. Dude, you're no. Tell me that's never a text has been sent in a group chat before. If I if I owned a child, I, there's no way I'd let it just breathe subway air on your back all day so you can sell Skittles. You've obviously crazy. never. Had, if I had a kid, I would take any opportunity to get that kid off my damn hands for a minute. <laughs> Okay, that actually, that actually sounds feasible. They maybe are they renting these kids? I, I would love a if a, one of those women showed me a paternity test with an, a current date on it with that baby, I would buy candy. But until then, absolutely not. Well, I mean, she, you might be right. I mean, they out there too, right? Yeah. So I, I look at them like that's the apprentice. <laughs> like they, they over there like, oh, you called a chiclet this. The other lady, the other lady just stopped the chiclet. Oh, no okay, wait, okay, I like this. I like they, where that's they're yeah. on the job too. <laughs> it's facts, they're bro. studying. They're doing some. Yeah, they're an intern. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's her intern right there. Okay, I don't know. That, that is that. funny to rent. A, all right, I'll shut up because I was gonna say something really dark and sad. Yeah, right. uh, let's like, let's go into your set a little bit. Because normally you can only buy children, but renting them is funny. <laughs> Right. Was what I think he was gonna right. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that, JJ? Um, <laughs> what do you think about his set? Let's let's get it back. To uh, that. Okay. First of all, dude, I think there was just way too much fat going. I feel like I've seen a bunch of your sets before, and you were trying to give it a little bit more energy. You were leaning in a little bit, so I like that you're trying to give it a little bit more energy. But like to get, you know, to get started on your first joke, way too much fat. You could have just opened with, I know, you, or, you know, you guys ignore my aunties on the train, something like that. Like you had to, like you felt like you needed to prime us for it but you didn't and it made us like not laugh at jokes that i feel like could have been way funnier like poverty is funny to me but i think we were already like it took 45 seconds to get to that which it should have been a sentence and i think that that was true for the majority of the set i think the desperate for the job thing too like all of these could be condensed down to like four sentences max and then they would be a lot more punchy you started like winning people over with like the woke drug addict thing so i think that's like a very funny premise but like once again it's just like this is a word economy so you just gotta like trim down on the words make us like you like in the first like 20 seconds of your set really quick and then end on something strong and then yeah. you like have a good set there's nothing wrong with any of your yeah. premises i think the doordash thing might be a little bit overdone i think on the i think we've been yeah. doing that one a little bit too much but yeah. i think your premises are other than that one pretty original and fun but you. just trim it down thank you i think i said what i have to say I, I I enjoy you. You're about very charming. The, the immigrants? Yeah, that was kind yeah, of my well, only question. Okay. Um, you're right. you're a very likable guy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like that your friends are doing drugs. Yeah. You're doing drugs too. Um, <laughs> no, well, not like them. Not like them. Not okay, like that's good. Keep your head above water. You know, yeah. keep your eye on the prize. Yeah. I also don't buy that Latinas don't like you. Oh, God, I wish I wish that, that were the case. What's your but weight limit? My weight limit? Oh, well, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. So we, we all got one. Yeah, huh? we, we got one. I, look, Everybody, everybody's got their weight limit. I've seen it. Listen. It was like, oh, I we don't see that. It was, it was like, 195. You know? like, we can be real or we can be liars in this room. I'm just saying I've seen many a torta with a dude who looks just like him on his arm, and they're happy, and they love each other. And I think that you can get that. 
I envision that too. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, he's getting a little bricked up envisioning. I like it. This yeah. is fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna go six. I liked it. There was a lot of there was a lot of meandering in the middle. But, right. I, but I enjoy you. Do you have anything sorry, you want to sorry. say about that? Oh, yes. Yeah, um, not that it hasn't been said. Actually, I'm going to say some part. I have, uh, I've actually watched a couple of these uh, episodes, and I've seen a different set of yours, and I think you actually improved on some of those. Um, uh, yeah, there, yeah, it's fatty. Yeah, there's blah, blah, blah. But I see improvement. Thank so you. So shout out to you. Bro, um, that's, that's worth more than the money. You know, that's... I know, that's it ain't. Like, <laughs> <it's> like, uh, <laughs> but I'm glad that you have a positive mindset yeah. about this. Yeah. Uh, I'm a, I'm also go with six. I, I, Never mind. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I like it. I think that um, with comedy, a lot of the times, uh, there's good writers, there's good performers who have kind of whack jokes. I think that if you like believe in yourself some more, I think that if like you like really put some uh in it, that these jokes could all be a lot like smooth with it. Broke. Is he coping that was, while he's on the stage? That was the longest vape that I've ever seen. <laughs> he's like hearing these. He's trying to hold it in so that the cloud doesn't come out. Like he's and I appreciate that. And yeah. we're keeping up here longer. <laughs> all right, but yeah, uh, all that to say is yeah, just get a little smoother with it. And I, I like your jokes. Thank you. Damn, I appreciate. That. Yeah, I think you're the first guest judge who's like done homework before this, so I appreciate that. Good. Thank you for watching. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That being said, I feel like the tr the fat does need to be trimmed. I mm -hmm. feel like. The premises were fun, but overall, it was like probably 70% like too much words. That being said, I'm going to have to give it a four. But oh, yeah. you have been getting better. More confidence. We'd love to see it. Make some noise for JJ, everybody. Give it up for JJ. Hell yeah. Are you ready for our third bucket? Put a little Wait, night? we have more money in sign-ups. Oh, more money in sign-ups. Two more dollars. Sick. Okay, I, I pulled one. I pulled one. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm just shaking it up a little bit. I that thought way. he was about to get an angel number with the sixes. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> That's the devil number, baby. Dude, That's wow. not an angel. Yeah. All right, you fucking sinners. A bunch of harlots in this crowd. Uh, all right, <laughs> you guys ready for your third comic of the night? Hundred and sixty-seven dollars on the line. Put your hands together right now for Aisha, everybody. Oh. Oh my God. My name is Aisha. Nice to meet you. I'm from the Bronx. I'm 26. Yeah. I just got kicked out of my parents' insurance. So, yeah. That sucks. I need to go get a PP what? PP what? I don't know. PP whatever. Anyways. Um, I just got out of work. And um, let's see. I got some jokes. I got to get off the top of my lace front wig. Let's see. <laughs> So right now, my official mode of transportation is the Lime scooters. And it's been getting me really far. Like, I just, you know, that's where I've been going. I've been taking my scooters everywhere. I'll be out. It's hard to go places with a scooter, though. Like, it's like you be losing aura just from doing that shit. It's like, damn, you're not that cool on a scooter. You can't be a baddie on a scooter. My wig be flying off. I'm like, damn, uh-uh, this shit is too much. <laughs> um. Unpopular opinion. Um, I actually do like short kings. Um, I love it. I think if you're short, that's great because I live in my parents' basement and um, we got low ceilings. So if you're short, like let's go, let's get it popping. Like I don't know, <laughs> you know. I'm cool from like 8 p.m. to like 1 a.m. You know, my mama's sleeping. Yeah, we could get it on. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to get an apartment and this shit is hard out here. But you know. I've been saving. I saved my first thousand dollars. Yeah. I got money now, so talk to me nice. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I need to draw some eyebrows on. I wanted to get my eyebrows microbladed, because you know, people don't be knowing what facial expressions I be making all the time. And I'm like, you know, like six hundred dollars and them shits is gonna be right here. All right, cool. Y'all not fucking with that shit? All right, whatever. I'm gonna draw them on with the pencil for $3, whatever. Um, my dad is like a hardcore Muslim. He's like really strict all my life. He's like telling me to like be a good black little girl. And I'm like, it's hard. I began bullied like when I first came to America, like niggas was bullying me. They was calling me an African booty scratching and shit. I was like, uh-uh, mm-mm, that shit is so mean. And it's crazy because it's like the same niggas that was making fun of me in high school and middle school, them, them niggas is in my DM now. So it's like, who is really the booty scratcher? <laughs> <laughs> you know you want this shit. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. 
I just be doing my thing, man. I be doing my thing. I'm trying to break all the black stereotypes, you know? I try to beat... Pl- 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 uh. Excuse me? I try to beat planned planned pregnancy, you know? I be, I did. I definitely beat teen pregnancy. I'm 26 now. So it's like, if I get pregnant, it's like, I planned that shit. Nah, I ain't keeping no baby. I can't. I'm not responsible enough, man. I do weird ghetto shit. Hood rat shit with my hood rat friends. Like, I can't have a baby. Like, that shit would be too much for me. I babysat my niece the other day, and she started crying. It was like 3 in the morning. I was like, nah, fuck that baby. I wanted to throw the baby out, but I didn't because I'm a good person. All right, that's all I got. My name's Aisha. Yeah, make some noise for her. Let her hear it. She rides a lime scooter and fucks short guys. It's not easy, okay? That's difficult work. It's a goddamn patriot right there. That really is, dude. 100%. Do you hear, like, like Wagner playing in the background while you're riding your lime scooter to, like, a 5'3 Tinder date? Because that's... You should. <laughs> She's like a marching band. Honestly, that's what I'll be going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Getting yeah. it popping, but, you know, it be charging about a second, so, you know, like, I gotta be scooting fast. I'll be like... Do they have lime scooters in New York? Yeah, it's in the Bronx. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, got I'm it. Yeah, in the Bronx. Got it. Yeah, Damn. it's everywhere. That's cool. They wouldn't trust us in Brooklyn with them. That's annoying. <laughs> I like those. Have you, do you guys know what they're talking about, the lime scooters? Yeah. I saw my friend, he, he had his arm on one, and he had a white claw on one, and then he had another white claw on the other one, and he got T-boned by a, a car in Austin, Texas, and he flipped over the hood, landed on his damn feet, okay? So it was uh, one of the coolest, like, mental memories I've ever had in my life. Nah, I haven't, <laughs> so I are safe. haven't fell off of those scooters yet, but it's, wow. like, my biggest fear. Yeah. You know? Well, if, you hold, if you're holding two limes, or two white claws, <laughs> then you're, you'll be fine. Yeah, nah, I'll be putting it in both hands. I'll ride it with two hands, like, yeah. 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 <laughs> there's, a, there's a joke in there somewhere, getting drunk on those little sco- tequila and a lime. I feel like somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, you're, somewhere. You love a good pun today. You're on a, you're on a yeah, pun Yeah, I thing. love a good pun. Yeah. Puns are so fun. I'll oh. think about it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You're into it too? I mean, I'll think about it. Yo, hey, wait, hold on. So I, you've come to the show to like watch before. Is this your, how long have you been doing stand up? Is this the first time? <laughs> yeah, I'm really new to stand up. Um, yeah, make some noise yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, appreciate it. I used Hell to come yeah. to Demetrius' show in the Sour Mouse and I used to sit front row all day like a dweeb. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I fuck with Demetrius heavy, but Hell you know, yeah. I try to be cool. I was like, you know, I don't think I'm funny and shit. I'm funny and shit. But, uh, don't act humble when your Instagram <laughs> handle is Aisha Got Jokes. It is now. <laughs> it is now. It is now. <laughs> what it was before was something different. <laughs> you can follow her if you want. Follow dude. me, you know what I'm saying? If you follow us. No, that's so fun. I'm glad you're like finally getting onto the stage. Uh, so that's that's amazing. I think there's a lot to be like learned from even just that, that first set. I think um, diving into your material, the biggest pops that you got were the things that were the most personal. When you started talking about like Short King, low sli- ceilings, yeah, we were on board with it. But like the funniest slide was like, oh, you're still like with your mom and stuff like that <laughs> yep. i think that 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 is one of my biggest notes from the thing is just keep it personal uh i'm not gonna be too mad at you for trying to be at the notes i'm sure like you get nervous hard as beaten hell yeah yeah man. yeah You're going through the roof yeah but it's uh i think i think yeah i think you're on your way i think you're funny for sure and i think that you just build from here you pick apart the things that you liked from this set the things that got the uh that got the laughs then you just try to condense it and try to build up so that you just only got some laughs and you'll be on your way thank you appreciate yeah. you you don't gotta yeah. deny any more bank loans <laughs> <laughs> to smoke shops i feel like that's what you do with this that outfit is you just give I, out bank loans to smoke i work shops. in the office yeah. i work in the office i have a nine to five so i'm trying to keep it as you should. Yeah, this, <laughs> we this love is, it. This is a bad news outfit. Like, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something, man. Yeah. Like, she walks in and like... <laughs> it is. Nah, I'll be helping people get apartments and shit, and I'm not trying to lose a city job with benefits. So, yeah. like, you know, I was like, yeah, like... It's like when your manager's like, hey, we need to have a meeting, and then you show up, and it's like him, but then also her, and it's you're like, hold on, like, yeah. hold on. There's like three of them in the room. Yeah, am I getting jumped right now? It's this like, is crazy. Like, you know, is she the one yeah. that won't look at you directly? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's literally me, yeah. <laughs> Taking notes before you said anything. <laughs> yeah, but I really like the I liked a couple of the jokes. I like the African booty scratcher joke because that 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 was funny, and uh, I like that you were like, "Yeah, I'm from the Bronx. Throw that baby out." <laughs> I was like, "Dude, we know, we know, yeah. we know where you're I, from." Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know, but yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. You don't sure. know where the Bronx is? I no, I know now. One day. Oh, I... yeah. Whoa. I mean, you gotta bring Demetrius though. You know, so security. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's probably fair. Actually, what do you think about Reset? Yeah, I think want to go. Yeah, no, no, absolutely not. Um, yeah, when no, you, no, I would love to. I was, no, I was joking. Not, we don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I please come? Yeah, you could come. Oh, wait, cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, this is how gentrification starts. <laughs> 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 um, I feel okay. So starting out, obviously, the beginning is always the hardest part. Starting out, so you're doing a great job. Like getting on stage and stuff uh, sucks. It feels like you gotta like own the space a little bit more. Like you were letting yourself get like cornered in back here. Like move the mic stand out of the way. To, you know, yeah. use the use the whole thing. But overall, just keep doing it. Really good energy, good set. Really enjoyed it. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. What do you think, Derek? Uh, a lot of the same stuff, but it's like now that you say this was your first set, I'm like, oh, well, yeah. It's it's like, <laughs> yeah. It, would, it would be stuff that like you wouldn't know to do, like the like the mic stand stuff. You know, um, I had a note here that was like, it seemed like at points you didn't know how to like end Transition. the joke. Yeah. It's so it's like, it's like even with that last one, it's like I wrote it. That was something that I kind of started with in the beginning. Like I would just talk about a subject for like way too long because it's like how do you stop you know um but other than that like uh like i said nothing new you uh, that was really great for your first time thank you yeah it was great for your first time oh yeah other little things is just like keep trying to keep looking up at the audience don't look down too much like be a little bit more commanded but these are yeah. all things that you can uh, that you can work on and then i think with the i think the only thing i would say is maybe get, cut that lime scooter joke because if it, the premise is just lime scooters are just not cool it's hard to look cool on a scooter i feel like that's not but everything else i thought i, I thought you were doing pretty good yeah, for like a you. for a first set like for a first set, that is like a like a nine out of ten. You brought a lot of personality to it. I thought that was great. But we're not judging you as a first set. We're judging you as like a ge a general genuine uh, comedian. That being said, I'm gonna give that one. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a four point five. <gasps> Thank you for <gasps> shut your ass up. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna go for also. It's your first set. Like, don't think about. You know what I mean? Like, getting up here is the hardest part. Like, keep doing it. Yeah. 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 Put four definitely. I also put four. Ah, <laughs> it's okay. All right, no, you did. Hey, but just know that there's people who've been doing it for like eight years and they got twos. So <laughs> you're doing pretty good. Make some noise for Aisha again, everybody. Ooh, 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 That's ooh, so ooh. fun. And your next comedian, make some noise right now for Liam Rogalski. <laughs> Keep it going for him until he gets to the stage. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, I'm from a city uh, that's not on the ocean, uh, so that means I'm from the Midwest, I think. Uh, that makes me a, a people pleaser. Uh, I, I can't help it. I, being in New York is like... Uh, uh, it's like exposure therapy for a people pleaser. Every time I get on the subway, I'm bumping into people, and the whole time I'm just saying, are you mad at me? Nobody, they don't look at me. They don't look at me. Uh, I'm trying to keep active. I just bought myself a pair of uh, athletic shorts. They're real nice. They've got a liner inside. They've got a, uh, they've got a, like a fake fly in the front. like. Who is that for? It's not for me. I'm not, I can't go out of it, you know? It's, it's really just saying to everyone else, this is where this guy might take his penis out of, potentially. I thought it was really funny in high school to take my balls out of my shorts and show them to my friends and get them to look. It was terrible. And uh, yeah, go, go do it. It's really funny. And I did it to my... Uh, my first job at a college, I, I went out drinking with a coworker, and I was boozed up, was taking a whiz behind a Domino's, and I thought, this is my moment to show this guy how funny I am. And he's asking me for directions, and I, I turn around, and I say, oh, we're going east. And uh, come Monday, he walks up to me and says, Liam, do you remember when you exposed yourself to me? And that's when I stopped showing people my penis real heavy. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm new in New York. I'm visiting. Uh, on my way to the airport, I drove past a La Quinta, uh, a little tiny hotel. They had two flags out front. They had an American flag all the way up. They had a La Quinta flag, half-mast. I don't know what sort of tragedy would cause that combination of flags to happen, you know? It's like a tragedy just not in America. It's like there was a school shooting in Mexico. 
I'm just kidding. They don't have school shootings. But it got me thinking, you know, why don't we half mast our flags anymore? For you, they're always all the way up. And, and I realized it's because they would be half mast every day. They would just be no full mast flags. We would just cut the flagpole in half at that point. There'd be no reason. Thank you, guys. <laughs> guys, Liam Rogalski. Thank let, you. Let him hear it, guys. That's crazy. From the side, you look like an unathletic Woody Harrelson, but you're totally oh, wow. different. Wow, Yo, like, you. look that way. Just look that, look, no, straight at that wall. You guys see what I'm seeing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like if white men really couldn't jump. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Do oh, wait, wait, before, you, you like that riff a lot? Huh? You like that yeah, riff? I, You're a fan of that riff? Yeah, I, you, I watched Demetrius Google Woody Harrelson. Fuck you. You're a bitch. <laughs> You're a little bitch. No, because I didn't, I didn't want to say Woody Allen. And in my brain, I was like, he's Woody Allen. And that's, that's not who that is. Fuck you. You're, I thought we were on the same team. I don't know what the fuck that's about. I was like, why is he calling Woody Allen? I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. I thought we were friends. That's fucked up. Yeah. I get my white people confused. My bad. My bad. Sorry. I wanted to be accurate to your people and your culture. Thank you. Thank Hell you. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I get Owen Wilson. Huh? From the front. From the it's, front. It's I just have front. a broken nose. That's it. That's the only. Oh, yeah. It is that's that any bit. white guy with a broken nose. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Nah, it's a lot of things. He looks like a, like a dock worker. Like You look like you know how to salt a fish. You oh, know thank what I mean? You. Thank you. I yeah, don't. absolutely. Where I are you don't. from? How long have you been doing comedy? I'm from Spokane, Washington. Okay. Um, I started comedy two and one half hours ago. Oh, crazy. Whoa. Thank you. That's Holy sick. shit. Thank you. Thank you. Two cherries getting popped. Damn. What, is, the, what is this tattoo on your arms? I've been really trying to read it. Oh, it, it. says Keeley. It's my oh, little sister. Yeah. I thought it was an, I thought it said Heil. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no. That's why I was confused. That's why I, no, that's why I brought it up. Don't act. Oh, wait. <laughs> I would Yo, not also, I would Austin not had to that. Google Heil before he <laughs> stop looking up Heil before his set. I, I do that for fun. I just do that regularly. <laughs> That was off hours. <laughs> Dude, really? That's crazy. So you moved, or you, did you move to the city, or are you just visiting to try comedy here? That way your friends don't see what happened? Exactly. Oh, hell yeah. Exactly. That's wild. Yeah, I'm going to send him the clip afterwards. That's Good fun. Christ, <laughs> please don't. I didn't know this was live streamed. Mm. Yeah, that's our bad. We probably should have said it, but it's okay. Yeah. Nobody's no, you, watching. Yeah, it's you. fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. That changes a lot of my notes once again. Uh, yeah. Same. The fucking half mass La Quinta joke is so funny, and I wish I thought of it. Like, that's so, I don't, the, the ending needs work, but the fucking, the premise of I saw an American flag at full staff and a La Quinta flag at half staff is so fucking funny. Like, Thank you. Thank like, you. yeah, really good. I mean, first time, you know, or whatever, second time up, like, just keep doing it. Like, it's really, like, you're, you know, you'll figure it out. Yeah, I appreciate here's it. a yeah. pro comedy tip. If you're gonna make a joke about showing your friends balls, you gotta you gotta show us your balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't do that. Fuck with you. Do that. I do. There was an era in comedy, maybe it was just high school, where just showing your balls was the funniest thing ever, and I missed that. That was really fun. It's still kind of funny. It's really funny, but you can't do it anymore because it's like bad. No, no you, you can't do it anymore because you're 27. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no. If I showed you my balls under the table, but no one else saw, you would laugh a little bit, right? <laughs> I would, I would, I'd be like, nah, that's not what's happening. I'm like, I'm tripping right now. That's different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Depends on the nuts. <laughs> you might have funnier. Some nuts are funnier than other nuts. Like if you got a little pink purse, a little pink purse, that's hilarious to me all the time. But if you got just, <laughs> just a massive pink purse, what are you talking about? A little, <laughs> little pink coin my boy, purse. My boy's got a little pink purse over here. Yeah, but I'm saying if you got like a massive sack full of testosterone, like that's now, now I just feel like less of a man. Yeah. What's the. Big uh, balls are scary. Um, in, in cubic centimeters, what's the volume of your nuts? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's like 100 cubic centimeters. That's too How, much. That's, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's like Elephant Man doing that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, seriously, just keep doing it. Like, I mean, if we're going to say some things, but like, you'll f if you keep doing comedy, you'll figure Like, for your for second time, honestly, that was... I, we, I couldn't tell it was your second time, so that's impressive. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have plans on coming back? I'm here for a few weeks, um, and I would like to stay. In New York? Yeah. All right. So uh, my note, my first note was because um, I, I moved here last year. And so on some, I just moved to New York. Try to avoid this type of joke. Like try to avoid, I'm not from here. People are mean. Oh, yeah. Because it's like they've heard it just too many times, you know. So it's like just on some genuine like advice type shit is like just don't. 
try to stay away from that one because it's like an easy trap to fall into when you just get here. I see. Um, oh, so with the balls joke, you, I wrote what did I write down. I said projecting balls. <laughs> I, 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 oh yeah, it was because you had the the ball joke right before or right after. It was like. Mm, the zipper, I think he might show me his nut. I think it'd be nice flip. But don't listen to any mm. comics on how to write your shit. Like, do not listen to me. But um, pretty much, yeah, just keep in mind the actual flow of it. Because it's like, yeah, these are all separate jokes. But telling that joke right behind the other one where you accuse your friend of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No. What the hell ever, man? It's like, but no, just, I know, I knew what you meant. Sorry, I was drinking yeah, water. Keep, I felt that. I felt you on that one. Yeah, keep in mind the flow of of the the jokes. Yeah, you also switch from balls to penis, which is like the difference between a misdemeanor and a felony. That's is like that a true? lot. Well, hundred percent. You can't whip out a penis. Are you fucking crazy? Well, can you talk about your boss? Huh? Don't listen to him on legal. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't listen to me on joke advice. Jimmy just out here giving lawyer tips. <laughs> no, dude, for sure. But whipping out a penis is way worse than and whipping out just balls. Anything less than an inch and a half is is misdemeanor in my. <laughs> opinion <laughs> <laughs> damn then you're about to see this whole bitch twice <laughs> all right we love a little dick joke um yeah. yeah man first joke i thought that was a little bit rough i'm from an ocean city i feel like it didn't matter to get to the, like the people thing and just like to get to the point of like saying i'm sorry i don't know i would probably just cut that but once again i feel like it's just a game word economy cut a lot of the words out just get right to where you're going i agree with him la quinta at half mass would have been really funny i think people kind of like started to not be on your side a little bit <laughs> with the balls thing because like yeah we we've evolved as a society you're right we can't be doing that anymore even though i was joking about it but i feel like some people got a little scared they thought you might show your balls later <laughs> and uh they just don't know you like that so yeah i wish you would have um yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry to kill you. I'm gonna go no, four. Yeah. But it was your first time. Like, Thank just you. don't listen to that part. You know what I mean? Like, really good job. Come back, please. I what appreciate that. Yeah. I'm thinking like three five. A 3.5? Yeah. All right, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm sorry to give it to you. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be a 2. For a first, like, for doing comedy for two hours, once again, that was, like, a 7, like, an 8. That wasn't bad, but we got to, like, rank you among all the other comics of the night. I think it's a 2, but you got potential. I feel like I like your demeanor. You're, you are got an endearing face. Oh, you see, Yeah, you, you yeah. don't feel like the Thank world you. hurt you yet. So When you came up here and said you were for someone else, in my head, I just assumed you were, like, the biggest comedian in, in a scene I'd never heard of before, and that's a good sign for you. Like, you have the energy of someone who's been up before. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Let's I appreciate come back. that. Give it up thank for Liam, everybody. Thank you guys. Comedian number five. Is it their first time? Who's to say? Make some noise for Trevor Liberty. Can we do more energy? Come on. It's $167 on the line. That's right. There's money on the line. This this is the, the highlight of my whole life. Um, what's up, you guys? I'm Trevor Liberty. That's a, that's a stage name. Uh, it'd be really weird if I came up here and I was like, uh, hey, I'm Trevor Slavery. That's how it's pronounced. Slavery. All right. Didn't uh, work for you guys. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, having a weird day, you guys. I uh, recently uh, read an email that I sent to my future self. You guys ever uh, do that? You know how you do it? Schedule send. Schedule send an email. Sending an email to your future self. I started doing this when I was 17 years old. I started sending my 30-year-old self emails. I was so excited for what I was going to be when I was 30. When I was 17, I sent an email to my 30-year-old self, and I was like, wow, you're 30 now? You're probably reading this in a pool. <laughs> it's just, you're probably crushing it so hard in life. You, you probably have one billion dollars. You're reading this email. I'm a, I'm 29. I I have a little less than two weeks to make one billion three hundred two dollars. I <laughs> I'm low on funds. Yeah. I uh, after I turned 17, I got into college. That was cool. I uh, I sent an email to my future self when I was in college uh, because I uh, I knocked up my college girlfriend, so my uh, my paths had to change. Yeah, I had unprotected sex for the first time. Man, those were the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good time. I uh, so I emailed my future self and I was like, damn, you're you're 30 now. You're probably reading this email at the fireplace with your beautiful wife and child. I'm 29 and I'm divorced, so that's uh, that's where I'm at right now. Feeling feeling kind of down, you guys. Not just because of the energy in this room, but I am feeling kind of down. What, what do you like to do when you're feeling down, man? Uh, listen to music. Listen to music. That's pretty good. How about you? Uh, go on a run. 
go on a run. I, I like to do something pretty similar. What I like to do when I'm feeling down is email my future self. That's what I, uh, <laughs> that's what I like to do. Actually, before the mic, I emailed my 40-year-old uh, self. I was just like, hey, if you're reading this, nice. <laughs> you fucking made it that far. <laughs> I'm going to end it right there, you guys. I'm Trevor Liberty. Thanks. Trevor Liberty. Oh, yeah. Let him hear it, dude. Your first time having unprotected sex, you got a girl pregnant. No, that's just for the joke. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, that, okay. that is a funny like situation. Really funny. I can handle pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, yeah. again, yeah, no, yeah, not just dumb fertile, yeah. yeah. No, no, okay, that's it's better that it's not. Your ra your ratio of, of nuts to kid is better. Yes, I, I hope to keep the ratio yeah, growing yeah. and growing forever. And <laughs> when you want to come to a party, my ass, you have to have a good ratio of nut to kid. <laughs> yeah, nut to kid. Yeah, what's nut your <laughs> what's your kid nut ratio? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's the ratio looking like, boys? <laughs> Hell yeah. One guy liked that a lot, I think, or he's laughing about something else, but I appreciate that. <laughs> um, really funny set, dude. I, I enjoy your energy. I enjoy Thanks. your shit. The room's dead. We all know, but yeah. I, really, really funny dude, set. We're, hosts. we're not allowed to say that. The room is you, so you lively. Said it like four times. I said bring up the energy. I mean, I there's like 15,000 people in here right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is incredible. I've never seen, they York. actually had to add a, a row to Madison Square Garden yeah, to fill all of you in here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many people over there. I think you all look nice. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, good set. Enjoyed it. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. I thought, uh, I mean, the tough opener with the, the slaver. Yeah, not joke, good. Not good. That opener. was a mistake yeah, for my sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not here in Bushwick. Probably not here in Bushwick. Like nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. What, Fair what, enough. What is your uh, real last name? It's Liberty. <laughs> That's hilarious. So your your last name is Liberty, and when you became a legal adult, all of your freedom was taken away. Yeah, exactly. Get your dress. Yes. That's yes. hilarious. Yes, dude. Yes. That's what I'm I love it, yeah. dude. Uh, I thought the email to yourself was really good. I think the the second half of the joke was much stronger. When you said "men that were the or those were the day," yeah, that was like a super strong line. That's that was funny. really fucking funny. Oh, like yeah. turn the room, given the energy situation was great. But I think beforehand, it is uh, it was a little bit of a struggle structural issue i think you yeah. need to like just change around what your examples of are for like the you killing yourself or you killing yeah. it not killing yourself <laughs> not that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine once, but demetrius is a soup no he did later <laughs> he did uh, later i, guess I insinuated that he insinuated cool. later. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, you want right to right be there. on my team tonight how about we be friends <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> i love your shirt i love the shirt so much thank it really you. fits thank you, you. Yeah. yeah i like when you caress my arm like that baby <laughs> that shit's fire uh yeah man i think uh just maybe describe yourself as like a teenager beforehand cool. to like because I imagine it's just like this but with a little yeah. less facial hair a little supple teenager yeah yeah, yeah so sure. I don't know like build up just like the hopefulness maybe like show a couple of achievements just something to make it hurt a little bit more when it doesn't yeah. happen Word. but I think the premise and you ending with emailing your future self again was so fucking funny that's Thanks. the perfect way to end the joke we yeah. just gotta get that beginning part a yeah little. for sure yeah cool. especially when you cut off into crowd work I was like ah shit where's this going and then you fucking nailed it dude the fucking, I hope yeah. you're reading this so, that is suicide. I get it now. I thought you were insinuating you wouldn't have email, but now I, yeah. now that I realize it's suicide. It's, it, I, li I like the death of tech too. That's cool. I yeah, like that. so that's a good route too. I, I enjoyed it. Way to way to cool. close it out. Yeah, thanks. How uh, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, about two years. Oh, two years. Good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> good. Um, All right. Yep. Yeah, that is, that is good. I um, yeah, intro. You know, not yeah, a lot not good. to say with that. All right. Um, I like the future self. Um, but I like. I love a recurring joke, yeah. and then I like that the recurring joke kind of evolved throughout, um, and you kind of like changed tenses about it, and change. I I liked it. I yeah. like I like that joke. Cool. Um, that being said, I feel like that, for, and I don't think you stole it. it. Might be like concurrent thinking or whatever, but I feel like I've heard uh, the first tag of the uh, the future self one before. Uh, like I have two days to make three million dollars. I, I oh like really? I okay. So yeah. that's just that might be a me thing. I might be on Twitter too much, but uh, that's Damn. that's my really only note about it. Um, I just get into. It. I give you a seven. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Which, like, oh, you go. Go for it. Okay. Eight. Cool. Seven, eight, and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven point. Ah, I'm gonna go seven even. I'm going seven. All right, even. word. Yeah. yeah that well, you're on the way point five from me. You're on the top great. of the leader. All right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Make some noise. Trevor Liberty. Before, before we keep going, you like, y'all, it, it helps so much to come up here and, like, know your jokes. Like, do not bring your notes up here. Facts. 
he watched the episodes. That's a big, that's a big tip. Remember like, your shit. Yeah. All right. Are we ready for our uh, sixth comedian of the night? We're halfway through the show. We got plenty of energy for the show. $167 is online. Put your hands together right now for Dice Decay, everybody. Woo. So I, I, have been, I have been in New York for six months now since coming from Japan. Before coming to New York, many Japanese people told me everything in New York is expensive. There are no jobs, there are so many comedians, there are no more dreams left in New York. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, the first month was really tough for me. I couldn't understand English, I couldn't make friends, and no match is on Tinder. No match is on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day I went to uh, I went to eat ramen. Ramen is Japan's soul food, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but the ramen I ordered had sl cilantro in it. Cilantro in ramen. There is no cilantro, cilantro in Japanese ramen. You know, I really hate cilantro. <laughs> the taste, the smell, and especially pronunciation. <laughs> I really struggle with the pronunciation with L and R sound, you know. In the next, in the next presidential election, instead of kicking our immigrants out of America, I don't like I'd like them to I'd like them to kick the L and R out of cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I asked so I asked so I asked them uh, to remake the uh, ramen without the cilantro. Then a black guy sat next to me. He looked exactly like Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was more like than Chris Rock than Chris Rock, you know. <laughs> Real Chris, that's Chris Rock. Wow, Chris Rock. But there was, there was no way Chris Rock would come along to a ramen shop and sit next to me. Besides, I'd already seen three Morgan Freeman today. <laughs> oh, Morgan Freeman? Oh, homeless. Oh, Morgan Freeman? Oh, homeless. Oh, Morgan Freeman? Oh, homeless. <laughs> but he looked so much like him. And uh, I asked him, are you Chris Rock? And he said, yes, I am. Real Chris Rock! Real Chris Rock, yeah! This story is true. Yeah, I had been a comedian in Japan for tw 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 20 years, appearing on, t appearing on TV every day. I, I, I was successful in Japan. However, I stumbled upon an American comedian, George Carlin, on YouTube. I was shocked. They turned their opinion into comedy. But the Japanese comedian, they don't bring any politics or social criticism into their comedy at all. So different. Then I watched Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Kevin Hart. Watching them made me decide to come to America. Just one month after arriving in New York. One of the comedians who inspired me and come was sitting next to me in the ramen shop waiting for ramen. I want to tell the Japanese people, there are still dreams in New York. <laughs> if you take out the cilantro, Chris Rock shows up instead. <laughs> and, 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 no matches on Tinder, but I matched with Chris Rock. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, Dice okay. Give it up for him, dude. That was fun. Bro, you bring it full circle. You fucking, you, that's... True story, yeah. No, for sure. When he was telling the story, like at the beginning, I was like, no, Chris Rock does go to ramen shops alone. He just <laughs> hangs out around the city. He just meanders. I've seen every, we've all seen Chris Rock just out and about. He also gets no matches on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it. Chris Rock does not get bitches, dude. He, he does not. He's trying. He still thinks he's 25, and it's hilarious. I seen an interview where he was just like, I met Rihanna, and she didn't even like address me as a sexual figure. And it's like, what are you? <laughs> Yo, just for men, calm down. What the fuck are you talking about? If I met Rihanna, she would address me as a sexual figure, goddammit, okay? 100%. 100%.
Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I love that confidence. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a great set. I think it was fun. I, uh, I I don't have any notes for you, really. What do you, you What do you think? It's your I first time it. seeing him? We've seen him a bunch, so we know the oh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? I was, I was like, oh, am I? There was at times that I was like, I had a lock in. <laughs> yeah. It's first time with the subtitles off. You know, huh? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna say like, like y'all know when you like gotta put your phone down. <laughs> like they said something, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. You know, and like, um, but that no, I enjoyed it. Um, I think it was a, a good set. I think even in the part that was like potentially uh, with the Chris Rock shit, I think that you were able to navigate that well because it's like you can talk about race shit just as long as it's funny and uh it was you were able to make that a uh, pretty solid joke uh my favorite part was the stutter was a joke oh yeah yeah like that was to me like very good uh writing mm -hmm. unless i'm just i didn't lock in enough um because you kept mispronouncing the cilantro and then you brought it up later i was like that's a good joke to me um so yeah i enjoyed that a lot oh oh uh, i i i like you are cross this I like. The hoodie? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I locked lock the yeah. hell in. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was gonna think you were Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard. I heard. I heard Rock, and I was like, No yeah. way. He just called me fucking Rick Ross. <laughs> no goddamn way. Dude, I, I feel like every time you write a set, it's very like structured, clear, like beginning, middle, and end. I felt yeah. like it felt personal to you. I like what you're doing. I feel like it was good. I'm gonna give that one. Honestly, I'm gonna give it an eight. Performance really was carrying. I yeah. Yeah. on that. I like what yeah. I see. Yeah, cilantro was so funny. Uh, 8.5. <laughs> I also went with a, a 8.5. That was oh, a, oh, that yeah. was a very solid yes. set. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I score yeah. the night. Make Give it up for Tezuke, everybody. Hell yeah. Comedian number eight. Guys, make some noise for Andrew Thomas. <laughs> Keep it going until he's up here. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hello, hello. How are we all doing today? Yeah. Doing well. That's good. I had a crazy day. I ran into my ex-girlfriend, uh, and I found out she came out of the closet. She's gay, which is good. Yeah, it's a good thing. No, homophobic crowd. All right. But no, it's good every time you learn more about yourself, but it's not a good thing to tell the homies, right? They're all like, yo, bro. You made her gay, you suck. You suck, bro, you made her gay, which is nonsense. First off, you know, I look at me. I got the Kengo hat, I'm trying. <laughs> Secondly, like everyone in here has an iPhone. If your iPhone broke, you're not gonna go out and get an Android. No, you'd become a lesbian. I get it. Oh, I get it. Things are good for me now. Uh, I'm in a relationship now. It's good. We've been going out for two years. It's amazing. Uh, there is one thing. She is 16 years older than me. I hold, I hold on that because, you know, it's worse to be with a 16-year-old than being, sorry. Wow, I am nervous. I'm shaking. <laughs> it's $162 right here. I'm shaking. Um... But yeah, no, she's 16 years older than me. It's, uh, we have this cool arrangement. She calls me daddy in the bedroom, and I call her mommy every time she pays for my phone bill. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, they're both white. Shocking. I know. From the moment I opened my mouth, I knew you knew I all, I like snow bunnies. I, I, people, I'm with, I'm trying up here, right? I am with my white girlfriend, and people judge me. They think I don't like black women, which isn't true. I love black women. Black women don't like me, or they don't take me seriously. They, every date that I've ever been on with a black woman ends with the three worst words any black man can hear. They call me a corny-ass nigga. <laughs> right? Right? Kendrick didn't even say that to Drake. That's how awful of an insult that is. Girls make fun of my voice a lot. Uh, once a girl said I sound like Morgan Freeman, but if he was a virgin. <laughs> Someone else said I sound like every college, uh, every black kid on a college brochure. Someone else said I sound like the customer service representative for the Crips. 
is stupid. Hello, thank you for calling the Crips. This is Andrew speaking. How can I help you? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Andrew Thomas, everybody. Oh, yeah, get comfortable. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Andrew, thank you for thank you for coming and doing comedy. I thank appreciate you. it. I didn't I didn't get when you were like you, when you were like this to this part. Oh, just the way I look. Just the way you look. Yeah. Because this could you, you lesbian women would be into this. Is the joke? What's the joke? I guess just try to cough at it, baby. Okay. That's the joke. And yeah. I, su I support that, by the way. I'm all about that. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think like I missed something in that. But overall, I enjoyed the the 16 year old pause. That was funny. I like that you really held on that for a Thank moment. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. Overall enjoyable. My favorite part was watching the little bit of snot come out of your nose yeah, the whole time. <laughs> yeah, dude. you saw the uh, the side profile. Oh man, didn't even I think about the I side profile. I didn't want to bring that up. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was, I was like, I don't have tissue in my pocket. <laughs> I was looking. I was like, oh, he got a set. Then he had to know she was gay. <laughs> yeah, man. I thought there was just some logical issues with your set. I think like the iPhone broke the lesbian thing. That doesn't make sense at all yeah. because that's not what happened <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean no like, completely yeah. <laughs> yeah. i'm trying to it's it doesn't make sense which is why i hope it's funny but clearly it doesn't work mm. <laughs> okay all right so that was intentional yeah you were like this doesn't make sense it's worked for me in the past yep. let's yeah. go get everybody else sick i need this 162 for some day quill you were like yeah let's all let's do it <laughs> that's confusing because it's like oh if you just didn't like your iphone after having it for a while and switch to an android that's more of like a situation of what you're going with i don't know I'm trying to figure out what you look like. I don't know. You <laughs> <laughs> You want to Google it? Or? Fuck you. Fuck you. Nah, he look, he look, I know what you look like. You look like the best goddamn Uber driver this city's ever seen. 10,000 rides, five stars on every single one of them. You get in, he's playing Anthony Hamilton the whole time. Hell yeah, white people pretending to know what that is. <laughs> That's great. Sick, man. Uh, yeah, man, I thought like the the daddy mommy uh, snow bunny thing. It just kind of I don't know, man. It just felt a little bit like unfinished. It's not really like like stage ready. You know what I mean? How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, about three years. Oh, about three years. Okay, for sure. I think, uh, but the being called corny, I think that you need to expand on that a little bit more. Not in the Drake Kendrick line thing, but I think like, no, it is a heartbreaking thing. You don't want to be called corny. I think that there was something really funny in that that you have to explore a little bit more. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna end on that. Also, Crip customer service is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've, I've Thank you. There. You got anything to say? Uh, yeah. So I uh, don't uh, don't elaborate on a joke, especially after they already laughed, uh, because it's like, uh, you know, they get, and it's, and it's kind of like, um, how do I put this? A lot of these jokes, they can be implied. You know, it can't, you don't have to say because, you know, clearly it's like people see what you look like, they see what blah, blah, blah. So it's like, kind of give them some more credit, you know, with these jokes, um, or acknowledge if something isn't going well, don't do that neither. Um, cause, whatever. And uh, I wrote down Crips one. That was funny. A lot of these feel like premises that you're like, is like, eh, to the room. So I'm just like, a couple of them, like, put some more pen in this. And, like, they could be uh, decent jokes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to go uh, five on that one. All right. I'm going to go, I'm going to go lower. I'm going to go three. I'm a, I'm a Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to say 5.5. 5.5. 5. 5. All yeah. right, for sure. Well, you didn't quite make the leaderboard, but please come back. I'd love to see Thank more. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yes, You're sir. not as ill. Yes, yeah. All right, make some noise for him. Are you guys ready for the eighth comedian of the night? Ninth. Ninth. I, wanted, I wanted to ask about his older girlfriend, but I forgot about it. Um, Ninth comedian. We'll have to find out a future time. Guys, ninth comic coming to the stage. Uh, make some noise for Desmond. <laughs> Guys, why are we giving up for the host real quick? Yes. A little bit harder, a little bit harder. There we go. Okay, cool. That's a new thing I'm doing. I'm working on my networking. 
Um, I have been working on my networking, though, and my eye contact. That's what I'm doing with you right now, sir. Um, but I made eye contact with a guy the other day, and he farted. Um, which is, have you guys experienced this before? You think you're prepared for it, and then someone farts at you, and you didn't, you didn't realize that was a thing people could do. And it was a purposeful fart. It wasn't accidental. It was a purposeful fart. But the thing that hurt me was that there was a person ahead of me and a person behind me on the sidewalk. So it means he chose me as the one to fart at. Out of everyone he chose. Do I look like someone you would fart at, sir? I appreciate that. You guys seem like, and I've been working on my, like, kindness and generosity. I've been getting into that kind of stuff. But there's some stuff that I can't really get behind. Like, um... I don't know why, like, um, when they ask you to, like, round up your total to donate to a good cause, I don't know why it's always the shitty stores. It's always, like, 7-Eleven and CVS. It's never, like, a Gucci or a Chanel, uh, which just feels weird. It seems like they're missing out on a lot of money. I feel like no one's ever walked into a 7-Eleven in, like, a giving mood. Um, okay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, no one has walked into a 7-Eleven in a giving mood. That's where I, like, buy my meat sticks. I don't think anyone's ever bought a meat stick and donated money in the same day. I feel like you've got to have more time in between that. Uh, okay, I think you guys get my vibe now. Um, all right. Uh, I do wish I could fight, though. That's a thing I've been trying to get into as well. Um, but it's weird to me. Like, I, I, I've seen people that, you know, do at UFC and stuff, and they say whenever they walk into a room, they feel like they can knock out everyone in there, which is a crazy way to go about life. For me, like, when I walk into a room, it's like, don't trip and don't fart. And I can only really do one of those. As you know, men can't multitask, so I really just have to choose one. <laughs> All right, guys, I might just leave it on that. Desmond! Let him hear it. Desmond, you really talk about exactly what I thought you were going to talk about. <laughs> That's what I was going for with it, so I've been trying to find my voice. And out. I think you found it, my friend. I think you I really nailed down. That. You, re you feel like, like the hero in like a John Hughes movie a little bit. I don't know who that is, but I, I yeah, okay, that's valid. Thing. He, he, wrote, he made, like, like feel-good high school movies in, like, okay, the 90s. Cool. I went to high school. Yeah, really? <laughs> I know what you're that, talking about. God, this is real-life Spicoli, dude. That's awesome. I don't know who that is either. Yeah, that's, that, he's from a John Hughes movie. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> I, enjoy, I enjoyed you. I did bomb, but it was fun. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Oh, and I'm glad God. you feel that way. <laughs> I think the meat sticks hit. It did hit. Yeah. It hit the open mic before, too. Yeah, Yeah, it's a good joke. I appreciate no it. No one's donated and bought a meat stick in the same day? Keep saying that. I will. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, well, I don't know. I need to think for a little longer. What do you think? <laughs> I thought it was fine. All right. Uh, that was that was a little more stank on it than I wanted it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fine. You know, it was um, it was cool. Goofy dude. Goofy guy. And, and yeah, definitely the, the vibe. There's like, uh, bleh, you know, it's like this. <laughs> 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 like, you know, open it up. You're gonna take them. that, dude. You're gonna I take that. I don't even know how to respond to that, to be honest. But it is accurate, I guess. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, I thought it was. Uh, I do think it was good. All right. A yeah, lot of, a, lot of, like, a like, lot of incomplete sentences of. <laughs> yeah, because it's like I'm. I'm kind of like Demetrius. I was like, I would like some more encryption time on this on this set. I, I'll can say something. I, uh, Spicoli is actually from a, a Cameron Crowe movie, not a James... Not you a gotta Google that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I thought about that yeah, for a moment. I bet you wish you fucking Googled it before, I bet I did. You? Yeah, <laughs> I really do. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, first of all, I think the, uh, like, the eye contact while he farted, he's not farting on you if he's, like, looking at you, unless he's looking back at it, which is even funnier. If he was walking in front of you, and then he looked back, and he was like... That would be hilarious, but if he's just like looking at you, that's just by happenstance. I feel like it was purposeful. It was just a, it was like I was walking. I looked at him and he waited till we looked and then he farted. Hmm. I thought that was a notable thing. I think you just had to be there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's worse in person. Uh, I like the uh, I like rounding up at Seven Eleven. I think that that's hilarious. Uh, I think you can build upon it a little bit more. Like I don't know, it's Seven Eleven in like New Year's Day. I don't know, maybe you walk past homeless people on the way in. Like you really aren't trying to give them your chance. Something yeah. like that. But meat sticks was great. I think your energy is great. Like you're super charismatic when you're up there. Um, I think that you just gotta like I don't know, just keep working this shit. I feel like it's just all new shit. Am I boring you? No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just know, joking with you. I'm just joking with you. Uh, but yeah, no, I feel like it's all new, and you just gotta find the funny in it and just keep letting it build because a lot of this. All right. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> I like the. Uh, I like that you're trying to learn how to fight. I think that's hilarious. I'm trying to get into that. Was a funny line. Yeah, and then right. under that, I wrote down, "You look like Sugar Shane if the sugar was replaced with stevia." <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> That's a sugar you alternative. Yeah. You know, I know what Steve is. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did go to high school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you yeah. got anything? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four, but that's, the meat sticks is really funny. <laughs> I want to emphasize that. Let's make it four point five then. No, we're sticking with four. Uh, but <laughs> I tried, guys. Yeah, and I appreciate that from yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I think the charismatic, the energy that you brought was like great. But in terms of like the joke content and the amount of laughs that you were getting at, it was a little bit low. I'm gonna have to give that one also a three. Y'all are strict in here. <laughs> Five is average, so three is really not crazy. There's been zeros. Mm, all right, let me change my scaling. I'll mm. say four or five. Four, four, four point five? Yeah, I think, right. I think because, because uh, how long you been doing stand up? Two and a half months. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so you're doing that, good. You're doing good. Yeah, I think yeah. that, like, like you said, like finding your voice, that's not something that people get into, like, until way later. So it's like, I gave you. A four or five because it's like yeah joke content blah, blah, blah. but i think that you know who you are on stage so it's like that helps a lot it's be, uh, connect with the room yeah 100 percent. appreciate it all yeah. right we'll make some noise give for it up for dash on stage we got three more comics you got energy for them <laughs> comedian number 10 make some noise for louis vicine <laughs> All right, guys, we ready to have a fun bubbly time? Come on! Uh, my dad bought me an assault rifle for Christmas when I was 14, which is terrifying because what else is a high schooler supposed to do with an assault rifle other than the obvious? Uh, no, I, I was excited. I see this big box under the tree. I start shaking it. He's like, don't, it's loaded. Uh, yeah. Do I have the gun with me here in the city? No. Did I ask to take it here with me in the city? Yes. Why don't I have it with me? Because according to my dad, I'm not mature enough. <laughs> Somewhere between the ages of 14 and 26, I didn't grow up. <laughs> I don't, I, look, I don't know if it was the fact that I moved out of the house, moved on to my own insurance plan at the age of 23 so I could get more coverage or started donating to uh, putting in money to my own IRA Roth account all the by the age of 25, or maybe my dad just likes the fact that I was in his basement jorking it four times a night as I was studying. Maybe that's what makes a gun owner to him. All right, we're going to shift hard topics. I got made fun of a lot uh, growing up because my mom was a Playboy bunny. Yeah. Thank you. Th thank you. Th thank you. Uh, yeah, other guys would be like, your mom's hot. And I'm like, I know, but uh, your curiosity is natural. Mine was not. Do you guys want to see the pictures? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> damn. We got a consensus. We got a damn. Uh, if you can't see it, I will airdrop it to anyone in the room. Uh, yeah, so I think about this picture every night and day, not just because my mom's hot. Um, well, all right, look. You don't objective. What other status is there for your mom to be hot than this? Uh, you don't go looking for your dad's playboys expecting to find your mom's. Uh, but I think about this photo every day because, well, how did my mom looking like this settle for my dad who looked like this? <laughs> it's not me dressed as Bob Ross, but uh, it's much less Hugh Hefner and a lot more f Ned Flanders. But yeah, how did my dad looking like this look at my mom and think I can reach for that, but also I can cheat on that too. <laughs> yeah, my dad's a gun nut, my mom is a playboy bunny, so realistically there's a chance that I was the straightest fetus ever conceived. <laughs> I don't believe in conversion therapy, but I might have come out the womb gay, and because of my parents nurturing, I'm now straight. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna close out with that. Thanks guys. Yeah, guys, get it for Louie. The first guy ever to show us his hot mom, and I will consider that in the voting. Isn't that crazy? Thank you. Thank yeah. you. No, it was so awesome to see that picture for the first time totally. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. I was going to try to find it later, too, so now that really saves a lot of time. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Um, you started out strong, and I really appreciated that. Thank you. You really brought the energy. Thank you. Yeah. I also am happy you don't have a gun in the city. Yeah, it helps. Yeah. It helps. Yeah. That's fun, though. Where are you from? Buffalo. Okay, so it's pretty close. Yeah, close enough, but like not like south enough to be given a gun when you're like a kid. Yeah, so, totally. Yeah. But I'm saying like if we got in an argument, you could shoot me in like six hours. 
12. 12 hours. I have to go there and come back. Oh, yeah, I guess you would have to. You wouldn't bring me up to the gun. No, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> We're going to go on a visit. <laughs> no, really enjoyed your set, dude. Good Thank energy, you. good jokes. Good, good job. Yeah. yeah. One thing that is funny about your set is like when I seen your haircut, I was like, he's going to tell us about a Roth IRA. I immediately <laughs> Fuck knew. yeah. All right. I immediately knew. And then you followed through on it. I think with the, uh, the mom playboy joke, I think it was funny in the moment to just show us. Mm. I think that that was hilarious, but you should have cut it right there. Uh, I think it's funny even if you were doing like a, a, a normal, typical show to show like one person. But when you continue to like show us your dad and be like, how the fuck did this happen? It's not like a best man speech. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't got to do it. And then you become like a prop comic and you're like, dude, now my your phone's going to be on 5%. You're going to be at a gig and you're like, that's my fucking closer. Like, I don't know what yeah. to do. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> do you think I could get away with uh, printing out like 27 by 36 <laughs> sizes of each? Yeah, I think, no, you know, I think yes. that makes it funny. I think it's it's a lot you should yeah, have the magazine. I, all right, look, this is a little bit of a sad part. Like, I don't have the magazine because she only worked at a Playboy club. She didn't, like, have oh. the centerfold. She didn't make it. She didn't make it. No. <laughs> <laughs> mom, if you're watching at home. Yo, no, y'all don't crazy. understand. My mom could have went all pro. Oh, y'all don't fucking know. No, y'all don't fucking Y'all sitting in here laughing. She was, she was somebody. <laughs> that, that changes everything. <laughs> How did my dad pull Hugh Hefner's housekeeper? That's crazy. <laughs> she was the best in Buffalo 1975. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> she she could have made that injury, that twisted titty, man. It just it set her back. Dude, that's great. I think the line of straightest fetus of all time was fun. Also, you're uh, how long have you been doing it? Uh, about like six months, actually. Oh yeah, wow, what yeah. the hell? I thought it was way longer. Thank Great you. energy. Uh, energy. I'll respect the skincare as well. Mm. Thank you, dude. I also <laughs> steal shit from CVS all the time. All right, do you steal it in the box or do you like sleight of hand, take it out of the box and then stuff it in the pocket? It depends. I have some techniques. Stop the recording. Okay. <laughs> so like one thing that I like to do is I'll like I'll put it in the pocket but I'll take it in the bathroom. Take it in the bathroom, then you're not on the camera, you know? You can slide it in wherever you want to slide it, you know? You can. They sell alcohol at CVS. One of our <laughs> friends, Mason, he told us that you can just get drunk in the CVS bathroom if you want. You can just get a bunch of six-pack and go in there. They don't even know. I'm going to steal that, because I usually go to, like a, like, a dusty aisle where I can see no one's touched that shit, and mm -hmm. I'll, like, fuck around with the paper towels for two seconds, and as I'm doing it, I'll, like, unbox it and then slide it. <laughs> Slide it back, uh, but yeah, no. I'm. Does every CVS have a public bathroom? Uh, most of them do. Yeah, it makes it really helpful for stealing. Fucking noted. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So take that one home if you want. Comedy and education. Yeah, absolutely. Also, you don't need to. You don't need to scan everything at Whole Foods if you want to. I'm teaching people how to survive in the city. That's what I'm doing, and maybe one day they'll appreciate it. Y'all got some like advanced stealing stuff. <laughs> I just trust my athleticism. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean athleticism, dude? Are like, you doing a I'll hurdle grab. over the security guard? Absolutely, bro. I'll, bro, you ever see the security guard and you just look at him? He's like, "You're not faster than me." <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if, the, me if this is funny or it's just true. Half the time when I steal shit, it's just because I don't want to wait in line. <laughs> I'll think about it later. Yeah, all right. But, thank you. The Criminal in the back. <laughs> awesome. Uh, that being said, with the set, I love the energy. And I thought, honestly, I thought it was really fun. I'm going to give that one a 6.5. I'm, I'm going high. I'm going 8.5. I liked it a lot. Oh, hell yeah. What do you think? Yeah, you made, you made me laugh. So, 7.5. So 7.5. I think you, you might be on the leaderboard. Hold on. I got to do math. And everybody knows that I'm bad at that. 16, 22... Fuck. Oh, fuck. They're all point fives. This is so hard right now. Okay, 13, and then 21, and then 22.5. You're on the leaderboard! Yay! Thank you. Give it up for Louie, everybody. And this next comedian wrote his name so many times. Guys, give it up for Riley Suarez. No, I just got ADHD, and I forgot that I wrote my, name, my first name already, and then I wrote it again, and then I had to write my last name, because... The last name is the best part because no one expects the last name. Riley, mostly known as a female name, as a woman name. Suarez, Hispanic by nature. On stage in front of you, Riley Suarez, Danny McBride's understudy. 
Yeah, that's a thinker right there. I am single, by the way. Yeah. It's like, no shit, Sherlock. You look more like a double, you fat fuck. <laughs> you know, it's fine. You know, back home, I used to, I was like the John Cena of my hometown. Uh, not for my muscles or rapping ability, but when I talk to people, they don't see me. Woo do do do. <laughs> Woo do do do. Invisible by nature. You know, everyone was, everyone was like, why are you so loud? Because if I don't have a certain decibel of voice in my, while I'm speaking, um, I'm just the fucking ghost. I'm just Casper, all right? And I'm Casper, the maybe friendly ghost. I'm like Casper from Miami. He's white, not because he's a ghost, because he, he did so much cocaine. I never done cocaine. I done Pepsi. No. I had, um, I'm, I'm mentally ill as fuck, so, you know, you can choose not to laugh if you don't like your life. I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding. No, I got borderline personality disorder. I got the shit serial killers got, so we hope, let's all hope this comedy shit works out. For my fucking sake, I can't end up on a white women's true crime podcast. <laughs> she looked like she got five of them already in the back pocket. You, yes, you. <laughs> Who else? Oh, you're the only one white enough in the front. Okay, maybe this one's got six. Got you beat. I don't know. I see a white woman. I don't know. I'm like, mm, maybe, maybe. I used to hear Willem Dafoe tell me to kill myself. And it's weird because I also want to fuck Willem Dafoe in real life. And for someone that in my head tells me to kill myself, but also in real life, I want to bone the shit out of, um, does that make me a praying manis? A male praying man, you know, don't, fuck you guys, you don't know science, I forgot, this is Brooklyn, we all, we, we believe in astrology, not science, fuck you, <laughs> that's right, fuck off, <laughs> yeah, you bastards, <laughs> yeah. yeah, god damn, this is what happens when you get a room full of comedians and you try to be funny, <laughs> it's like six of you are not even fucking audience members, you bastards, I love it, um, one last thing. Um, I used to be suicidal as fuck, if you couldn't tell. Um, you know, fucking A, bro, you know. I got, I got more psych ward reps than most motherfuckers out here in this bitch. And um, I, I always try to write a suicide note, but I never could figure out what format to write it in. MLA or like APA or some shit. Like, do I cite my sources? Do I make a bibliography? Can I use a screenshot of a text message my dad sent me at 3 in the morning? All right, I got a chuckle from this motherfucker over here. I can see at the corner of my eye. Okay, I know there's some English majors because I know there's some theater majors in this bitch. All right, let's, let's, you, know, you know what? I'm good. I'm having All a good right, time. Hell yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah. clapping because you right. need to, <laughs> not because yeah. you want to. Oh, man. This is fun, man. It's always fun to see which personality is going to come out when you come on Bro, stage. Bro, it's like, it's like a rolling a D20. It's like rolling a D20. It was like a natural 20 for the dark side of the ring. Dude, this is nice. You know, some people have no personality, Riley. <laughs> 35. Yeah. I, have, I, I don't even know how many I this, have. This and that's had, a problem. This sets up more for Riley than for them. I know? don't, yeah. No, I do a lot of things for me. I do a lot of things out of spite because I want to. You know, y'all y'all feel how you want. It was it was roaring and his shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, no. The, no, the other thirty five voices uh, were like, "You killing this shit right <laughs> now?" No, no, tell no. Him, Don't listen to him. God damn word. No, yeah, no. tell him, Riley. <laughs> yeah, no. Coke, Pepsi, Coke, Pepsi. <laughs> what? No, nah, man. That's fucking dude, man. Fucking fucking a, bro. No, he's right. Nobody's ever made a Coke Coca Cola joke before. <laughs> How do you? I mean, I had to use it in real life once. Man, one thing. You know what? I'll give you. I'll give you a compliment before I say what happened. No, um, fuck you. You t tell me. No, I, will, I have a degradation kink. Tell me the bad things first. No, I respect that it was honest. Yeah, it, I'm not gonna lie. It was honest. You I'm were a, honest. I'm a bad liar. I would hope that a couple of the things were lies. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Uh, I'm good now. Don't get it twisted. Like, I'm good now. Like, okay. I wouldn't be in New York by myself, kind of, if I wasn't okay enough. Yeah. Like, don't don't get it twisted, man. These are old. Oh, fuck. He was, he was saying, like, some serial killer shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, like, no, no. I got, I go, do you want to, like, trade spots? <laughs> for, like, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. He, he can jump over the table to right here, I think, no, if he no, needs no, to. No, no, no. No, you three are fine. You, you don't worry. Us three. I'm not, no. Yeah, no, yeah no, you guys. No, oh, ha-ha, no, no, idiots. No, 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 no. One, one. That's a bit. Two, two. Also, it's too much work, all right? Because then I got to fucking get a weapon, hide the weapon, hide the body. It's a whole bunch of work. And I got, I got autism and ADHD. They don't work together. I think you're a trooper for keep going. I do. I think that's dope. I think uh, a lot of other comics have been like, okay, that's my time and they still got like a minute and a half. I think shout out to you for doing doing the whole thing. They bit. mean nothing to me. I don't care if they don't laugh. They mean nothing. You know, I'm going to be honest. I don't think you could be a serial killer. No, I can't. No, I th there's no way you're getting two off. You got... <laughs> no, no. I, I wouldn't use a gun. In my opinion, I wouldn't use a gun. I can't own a gun. So why like, I'm already, I'm already fucked. Like I can't own a gun, so I'm like, all right, you know, use it much. <laughs> you know, you know what they say about like serial killers and how they do it, and it's like, yeah. like trick these women to do whatever. It would never it, be, be like, hey, come here. It's like, oh. you know, like <laughs> it, I'm gonna be honest. It would never be women. It would never be women because I love my mother too much to have that happen. You know. Oh yeah, serial killers and no, no, they, no. They it would strictly be dudes. Yeah, it, yeah. it would be frat guys mostly. Like if I were to do it, another lifetime it would be frat guys. So I know five of y'all are clinching your asshole right now. Mm. Okay, guess, fun. If we had to go scores real quick, what would you say, Demetrius? <laughs> I would say he's the greatest comedian of all time. Yeah. Clearly. He's got to be. A, I'll give him. A, I'll give him a gold star. Is that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One I, gold star from all. Can I? Can I? Because that would like really kill my inner child. Yeah, one gold star. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I'm better but, than all of you. I got a gold star. <laughs> yeah. All right, and I'm going to give you a happy face. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm, I'm thinking you get a great thumbs up, man. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, guys, yeah. a Why gold star and a yeah. thumbs up. <laughs> give it up I for feel, Riley. I feel so safe around you. <laughs> That's, this is not I'm gonna go I just like it over here. <laughs> yeah, it's comfortable behind me. I yeah, get that. Yeah. Yeah, I could, I could see this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guys, Riley. <laughs> oh, wait, we have one more comedian left. Ooh, ooh, Who's ooh. excited? $167 on the line. Make some noise for Aaron Depke. <laughs> the best part of that was the whole time he was like, I would never kill women. It would just be men. No, I wouldn't do it with a gun. It would be like with a knife. Okay. He had so many fucking details. I'm so scared right now. Um, okay. No, I, uh, I'm doing good. I, uh, I tried an edible for the first time recently. I feel like everyone always has like a really exciting like first time getting high story. Uh, me personally, I just wasn't a huge bitch for the first time. Like it wasn't, I like, I, I, I was just a, a nice person for a few magical hours. <laughs> All right, hot start. Okay, I um, I'm doing good. I'm uh, I'm single right now. I'm not very good at dating. My usual strategy for avoiding being single is what I call the U.S. senator, which is where I don't do anything to change it. I just complain about it on Twitter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do. Uh, I have like a bad track record with dating. My last boyfriend, we dated when I was 20, and he was 26 because I have a really good relationship with my dad. And uh, <laughs> six years is enough of an age gap where like sometimes my friends would go up to me and be like, you know, like six years. That's like, are you like worried about like a power? dynamic and I was like I feel like a power dynamic would be like more of a concern if he had been on top even once you know like it's not he's not that kind of guy six years is also enough where like sometimes he would make certain references that would kind of like go over my head like he'd be like I used to have a MySpace account or like I used to watch Ed 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 Eddie or like 9-11 was pretty sad <laughs> it's like quit making shit up you old geezer oh my god I uh I don't know i talked about drugs I, I i don't i don't really do drugs a lot because i don't want to know what i'm actually like but um <laughs> i uh like I, i'm a very anxious person and i was like looking into like uh like i was watching a video on ayahuasca and it was like people like like black out and they like vomit all the time and it, like that confuses me because like if you wanted to like get sick and like black out have you ever tried like giving a speech <laughs> have you ever tried high school english class <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're doing good. Um, oh my god. I uh I don't know. I do um 
I moved here from Indiana, and uh, I do, I don't know, I like it a lot, but people do talk to me like I'm stupid here. Like, I was talking to my coworker, and he was like, oh, I should show you some of these, like, really good restaurants around the city. Um, I usually know this one with, like, the absolute best hummus. Ugh. I'm sorry. Do you have hummus in Indiana? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, in 2015, the whole town pitched in and we all bought one fucking chickpea. How the fuck do you think Indiana works, dude? Okay, that's my time. Sorry. Aaron Debke. Don't apologize. You came up to a weird energy and you handled it properly. I was... Genuinely, look at my hand and I'm so serious. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I like that the, both the last comedian's mental health has been entirely in my hands. That's kind of nice. I could, I could ruin everything. Um, no, you're... That was you're really funny. You did a good job. Thanks. There's a weird energy. I uh, the Sanders thing's funny. The fucking the hand thing scared me a little bit, but uh, good good job. Good I'm job, really Aaron. Being honest. Yeah. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, of course. If, if you throw up right now, I'll give you a ten. <laughs> if you fully throw up, I'll give you ten out of ten right now. I bet I could, but it's carpet. Yeah, all right, thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah? Huh? Why? <laughs> Wait, why'd you point? <laughs> Who'd you point at? Cause his, okay, y'all ain't see it, but his his phone went off, and then he was like turning it off, and we all looked, and he was like. I <laughs> it's like fucking this guy right here. Is <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Why is he in it? <laughs> yeah, man. I think like the 2026 age gap thing, like that was really funny. You had a lot of like really quick jokes in there that were really good. I think the problem with the like ayahuasca thing is it's like it's too personal and it is kind of confusing when you are giving a speech right now. You know what I mean? You can't say ayahuasca is like giving a speech because it's like it's totally ignoring the drug part of the drug. You know what I you, you like you hallucinate and get weird. So if you had a, another thing that would have something to do with I don't know it just seems yeah. weird to boil down something like as an intense psychedelic as something people just do to throw up and shake you know what I mean I do yeah it's like a, a new joke as of like the blast mic I went to and then it was good and I was like hell yeah. we're having a weird night so hmm I'm trying to think of like what yeah I don't know I I just uh, hallucinate blackout throw up you remember losing your virginity right Maybe? No, I, that sucked too. This joke is hopeless. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> if that wasn't Thank it, you so much for that. In, in general, like, and this is just like a piece of advice, like, I guess across the board, is like, especially like other writers, they can tell you what might be wrong with your joke, but they can never tell you how to fix it. <laughs> so it's like, because it, yeah. it's, it's to you. So it's like, that's, that's in general. That's comedy. So it's like, you know, you're going to hear a lot of blah, blah, blah. They're right about how it made them feel, but they will never be right about how you can fix your shit. Does that make sense? Damn. So it's like, hear them out. That was pretty cool. That was sick. That yeah, was, so hear them out, but after they tell you what happened, shut them out, like, fully. It's your shit. So, yeah. Shout out to you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I think you had some good energy. I, like, I liked your jokes. I was like, oh, these are jokes. You know? It was like a very open setup joke you know Thank you. so um again shout out to you uh like i said great energy um you seem very you seem cool so yeah Aww. yeah yeah, yeah. Thanks. i think it's funny also to have the joke about like doing an edible and you just got nice and then not doing I, it's like you're at a party and you're like no i'm cool i do drugs <laughs> and then you say the wrong effects i think the chickpea joke was kind of funny i like the not knowing how indiana joke works uh I think that just some more examples might be more fun. I think that end, ending it on the chickpea thing, I think in a different room like that would actually, that could do well. It is fun, but like just give us some more extreme examples to follow through on that premise. And I think it could be something that pops a lot harder. I do agree. Some more pen on that one could, could mm -hmm. help a lot. Yeah. All right, what do you think score wise? Uh, 7.5. 7.5. Uh, I'm going to give that one a 6. What are you thinking? 6.5. 6.5 how, how long you been doing stand up? Three years. Good. Nah, she is, she's dope. She's yeah. got to do new shit because she's already won this bitch one time. Oh, so. you already won? Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
You know, just giving respect where it's due. Fucking god damn, math is so hard. I need to like do some times tables or some shit to like, because there's no reason I should look at three numbers this long. It's so fucking difficult. Hey, 13. let's let's see let's see how long it takes him to get to twenty point five. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you got seven and six is thirteen, and then you add six on that. It's not twenty point. That's it's. It's I think it's that's twenty. That's nineteen, and then that's twenty. How do you feel? <laughs> How do I feel? Yeah. I could beat your ass. I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, Guys, give it up for Aaron Nepke. <laughs> Who wants to see me and my co-host fight on the yeah. stage right no. now? Yeah, that's we'll tired. New, you guys both pick a you guys pick a champion out of the three of us, and then we oh, fight, dude. and then whoever wins, they get the money. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. <laughs> we should take our shirts off, and we'll tie our ankles together with it, and we just keep fighting until one of us falls down. <laughs> oh, you can't back up, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Mm, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, finals. Let's do some finals. Finals. Yeah, this is the final part of our show. So we, at the bottom of the top of the leaderboard, we got Trevor with 22. Next, we got Lewis with 22.5. And then a 25 with Daisuke. The way that our finals work. All right, thanks. Uh, the way that our finals work. No, don't feel, don't feel shame about it. Just, just. Yeah, right. But there is judgment. No, but you should like, feel don't... shame. You don't have four more minutes to see who wins. Wait, I got a DJ really... set. Yeah. Oh, he's so multifaceted. Oh, everybody was very fun. Oh, oh all right. Yeah, there's actually news after. We're not okay. You, you guys want to go there instead? <laughs> should, we just, <laughs> should we just wrap this up? We can use that 167. We all get in the door, get that in. We get a, how about we get a table? Get some fucking... Oh, we can't do Ciroc anymore. Let's get Grace Goose. Let's get, let's get loose. Oh, yeah, with 167. Baby. Let's all get... <laughs> yeah. Let's all get four people in the club. Right. <laughs> so the way that our finals work is the top three comedians are going to come up here. They're going to do one final joke. And when they're done, you guys are going to clap for the person who you want to take home the $167. You're only going to clap for them. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and bring up Trevor, everybody. <laughs> Hell yeah, I, uh, I just moved to Brownsville, you guys. Uh, super racist name. Uh, super accurate name, too. Um, it's weird living in a predominantly uh, black neighborhood because the neighborhood I came from came up with the word predominantly. So that's a <laughs> predominantly confusing time for me. Um, it's pretty loud on my street. So to go to sleep at night, I have to play white noise. Uh, yeah, I tried brown noise, but then I had to shut my windows. So, uh, <laughs> all right, I'm Trevor Liberty. Thanks, you guys. All right, make some noise for Trevor, everybody. Let's keep it going for Lewis as he comes to the stage. All right, uh, can I be a little bit dark and vulnerable? Are we fine with that? Yeah. All right. Uh, I love my Grammy a lot, but she was a very complicated woman. <laughs> Beat my dad growing up a lot. She told me on her deathbed, Louis, if you ever have a kid, Never beat him because you're going to spend the rest of your life cleaning up the sand. It's not a beautiful metaphor. My dad just got beaten with an Etch-a-Sketch, which is a weird way to beat your son, a weirder way to get rid of his artwork. All right, thanks, guys. All right, make some noise for him. Let's keep it going as Daisuke comes to the stage. So I'm Japanese, but ever since I came to New York, people who mistake me, are you Chinese? I Korean, I Taiwanese, I pedophile. <laughs> it's fucked up. Am I Chinese? Am I Korean? Am I Taiwanese? Am I pedophile? I'm not a Chinese. I'm not a Korean. I'm not a Taiwanese. That's my time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make some noise for Dice. Guys, stay on the stage. All right, Trevor, Lewis, get back up on the stage. Yeah, this is our finals, baby. So we're going to go from left to right, and you're going to only clap for the person who you want to take home the $167. When you clap for this person, go absolutely fucking crazy. Give them everything that you have to show that you want them to win that money. That way, we don't have to do this again. That being said, if you think Trevor should take home $167 tonight, make some noise. <laughs> That's pretty good. They harmonized when they did that. Yeah, that was did. that's I've only seen that at a Justin Bieber concert. Incredible. All right. If you think Lewis should take home the money, make some noise. Look at a little bit better. All right. If you think Daisuke should take home the money, make some noise. I feel like it's sounding like Daisuke. I, I want one more. That was tight. It was right. between one and three. Between one and three? Yeah. Okay, between Trevor and Daisuke? Yeah. All right. All right. If you think Lewis should take home this money, make some noise. Go fucking crazy right now. Okay, if you think Daisuke should take home this money, make some noise, go fucking crazy right now. 
It's looking like Dice K. It yeah, it, it feels like, like it. Dice it's feeling like Dice right. okay. That's been our show. Dice K, you're our winner. Woo! Congratulations. Give it up for Dice K, everybody. Thank you guys so much for Thank coming out. Thank you for out. watching. Thanks for doing this, by the way. Oh, yeah.